Welcome to Old Walk Manor and the Kia range day for the NGMW 50th anniversary. The Kia Rio, one of those cars that we've just never driven. The thing is, you see so many on the road, so it'd be interesting to see how it drives, because sadly this is going off sale this year, so it'll be sad to see it go. I'm Ben Quirk, welcome to Planet Auto. So it feels like a lowered Stonic, which would make sense because it's on the same platform, and it really pops in this blue. The chrome surrounding the matte black grille, and you can see it does have some rather funky styling. The signature Kia design language. It's aggressive, yet approachable, if that's the thing. Like a cuddly monster? It does look very Monster Zinc in that colour, to be honest. But that's a good thing, though. You know, the way the eyes look. It's got a rather clean look. No cladding, and just straight down the line arches. No styling down the side either, but I think that really works. And it's got a wheel at each corner, no roof bars. But because this is a two, we don't have keyless entry, but we do have blind spot detection. I suppose the most compelling thing about the Kia Rio is its price. And there's a number of trims to choose from. Climbing in, the door opens nice and wide. And yes, we do have hard plastics. I mean, to be honest, yes, it's pretty much a carbon copy of the Stonic inside too but that would make perfect sense. Door card, like the Stonic, yeah, there's not much to it. You don't even have a padded armrest on this one. You do have a decent door pocket. Plastics, yeah, they're all hard to be honest. Thing is, they're of a decent quality and the construction's pretty good too. I can see why people buy these. It's just a great reliable car and you get a seven year warranty. Nice sporty steering wheel and lots of rotaries. Decent infotainment screen, not the biggest, but it does everything it needs to. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more rotaries. Lots of storage and cup holders, and an old school handbrake. What's not to love? The door's not quite as solid as the Stonic. That's interesting. Lots of rotaries for things like the fan. 12 volt socket, USBs, and analog clocks little fuel computer in the middle and proper buttons on the steering wheel and chunky indicator design style like the Stonic I really like it I've also noticed this styling in the Picanto and I do love the additions of the gloss around here everything is pretty much hard though but up here yeah it's a nice quality pretty solid and another six-speed manual love it storage points and comfortable buckety seats I like the Stonic yep they're fabric Nice and supportive, it's just tastefully done. As we've got the two, we haven't got the heated seats, heated steering wheels, etc. But dependent on the trim, you can get all that kind of thing. Let's take a look in the back. And a clean look. <laughs> Discs all round. And to be honest, I miss the chrome that surrounds the Stonic. It's just one of those cars that fits in. And a lot of people like that. Especially when you combine it with things like rotary, big chunky buttons. Let's take a look in the back. The door opens nice and wide. Climbing in, absolutely no problem. This is a carbon copy of the front. It would be nice to have a padded area. You've got a water bottle holder and an electric window. It's interesting not to have privacy glass. Very light and airy. Light headliner and grab handles. Sadly, not one above the driver's door. Decent leg room and we've got a USB. It would have been nice to see some vents. But with a price bracket of this, you can understand why it's not there. It's comfortable, the backrest isn't too upright either, and they're rather supportive, quite deep. I like that. And you've got centre rear light, Isofix, and airbags. And I think that's about your lot. Let's take a look at the back. The rear, yet again, simple and clean. Hi! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr DeMille. <laughs> it's just simple and effective. High level brake light and a sporty little rear spoiler. And of course parking sensors and a reversing camera. Let's take a look in the boot. Decent size, bit of a boot lip. And if you lift here, we've got extra storage. Now realistically, you get a spare wheel in there. It's not the biggest boot, but you quite easily get a week's shop in there. And a small family holiday isn't out of the question either. Removing the parcel shelf, two little string loops and just, just lift this out. Drop in the seats, push this forward and 
doesn't lay entirely flat, but it's pretty damn close. Also, there's no gap between the seats. Quite easily get my EMTB in there. Granted, I'd have to remove the wheels, but it's a bit of a beast. Welcome behind the wheel of the Kia Rio and a key. <sighs> Never driven one of these, as I keep halfing on about. The thing is, yeah. because it's built on the same platform as the Stonic, and it's got the same engine, which is the one litre TGDI, but without the mild hybrid, I can imagine it's rather fun. It's got good brakes. It stops as well as it goes. That sound. Also, there's very, very little vibration when it's idling, which is nice. Because with three cylinders, you sometimes get that. When you hit that turbo, great turning circle and it's one of those cars that suits back roads perfectly it's not too big listen to that tone great steering decent feedback and it's heavy enough yeah it's nice and direct this yeah, I could have a lot of fun on this. Body roll, well, just a little bit. The thing is, that makes it more comfortable though. It just ticks a lot of boxes, doesn't it? It's just sad that it's gonna be going off sale. It's a good value and honest car. And it'd be a shame to see it go, won't it? It will, because it's such a fun, joyful little car, especially with it the is. name. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, it's perfect for a small family. And with that seven year warranty, it really can't be beaten. Great price too. And there you have it, our last chance to drive the Rio. Dealers still have stock, so if you fancy one, take it for a test drive. It's simple and above all, fun.